Hi and welcome and let's try to uh, install Firebug on uh, Fire, I mean Fire PHP on our machine uh, with code igniter. So let's get started. First you go ahead, you install Firebug and then you make sure that you go to tools, add-ons and you have it in extensions and you should see something like that, Firebug. So uh, once you've done with that, you go ahead and you download the Fire PHP, the signed version. And then when you go to tools, add-ons again, and then I have it here. And P Fire PHP is installed too. So that's out of the way. We finished with the, the client side. Let's go ahead and go to the server side. Now we need to download and uh, install this library. Uh, so you go uh, and download the zip file and then you have it here. Yes, the fire PHP core master. And then inside you will go to lib and fire PHP core and you have the two files. Copy those two files and go to your code igniter uh, path. So in our case, uh, in my for my case, I have it in www site three, and then application. And this is my uh, location where I have code igniter. So application libraries, and then I don't have any library yet paste them tick, 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 tick. okay and then I have FB and fire PHP class you can rename this class whatever you want I like to call it firebug so I'm gonna go with firebug capital F firebug Firebug or Fire PHP. Let's Firebug for now. I'm gonna copy that and go to the class name instead of FB. I'm gonna use Firebug. And that's it. Now we are ready to use our extension, our library from any controller. So let's go to controllers and I created a a method in welcome con controller and this is method is called nice method so what is it doing it's calling a data from an API and then decode it to JSON and it's sending this data to the view so if we call nice method it will call the nice view and I have the nice view Here's the nice view hello Check, check, check. Mm, not here. Let's close this one. Views. And uh, site three, application views, nice view. And in nice view, I have just a welcome to nice view. Okay. So I'm going to save that. Yes, everything is saved. And I'm going to go and call my local machine, site three. Welcome view, welcome method, welcome controller, and well nice method. And then it should call me to it should call the nice view. But I want to see my data in the view. So let's go ahead and go to the view. And go pre var dump data and all right look now and then I have my array dumped now if you want to use the uh, fire PHP you can go and instead of using the pre pre version of dumping we can hold on let me just go back to my instead of using this pre pre let me comment this we can go ahead and create an instance of code igniter controller main controller and then 
CI load library, we load the library that we just created, Firebug, and, and then let's try and see if we don't have an error yet. So let me just refresh. Yes, no error, that's good. Now, I have my data and I want to see it in Firebug. So I'm going to CI Firebug log data and give it a name. Let's call it my data. Save that. Go to the view again. Don't see anything. But if I hit F12, and then I'm gonna clear my clear my console, refresh, and then I see something here. What's this? And notice that the name is my data. If I click on the on the name. Let me reduce this one, hit 90%, and I can see all my data in nice organized way. And I can browse it and I can give it to the, the other developers if we are working in a team, let's say uh, you're working in the back end and you're giving it to the front end designers and they can browse it in a nice way and they don't really need to to uh, go and install xDebugger or a heavy tool for debugging. Um, other uh, new, like other stuff too, other like uh, tips. You can uh, notice that we use this log method. So we are using the class firebug and we are using the log method. You can use log or you can use info. And let me comment this. Uh, let's see. Let's give it a name. My info. Whatever you can say, whatever you want here. Save that. Go to the front end. Twelve. Clear my console. Refresh. And this time you can see it as an info. It's not a warning. It's not a debug. It's not an error. It's an info. And if you click on uh, all, sorry, all. Is gonna show you uh, the photo, so I'm gonna go and uncomment everything. Variable warn. Let's call it my warning. Warning, and then my error. Save that. Go to the front. Clear everything, and then let's see everything. What we have. And you can see that we have an info warning and error. If you can, so you can customize all your messages to the front end. Uh, one extra thing, if you if you don't really like this view, which is kind of, uh, oops, let me just minimize this one. If you don't like this view enough, it's not enough for you. You can go back to. F12, minimize this, and you can right click on uh, on the variable, say uh, inspect in DOM panel, and then it's gonna open the DOM, and you can change the way your array looks like, and you can browse it too again and have fun with it. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was clear and. Um, and helpful. Okay, take care.